to like doing videos in the summer. It's half past eight and I'm actually feeling nice and cool. You know, it's like normally I go, oh my God, it's so warm. Guess what? I'm still warm. I'm actually nice and cool right now. I know, miracle, right? I know, right? One of the best things I bought recently, okay? Nothing to do with Harry Potter. It's an air conditioning unit. I have an AC in my room. It's freaking lush. It was 400 pound down to 240 and Monica bought it full price. So when I go to her place, cause she shares a house with people, but in her room, she's got this amazing AC unit and her, her, her house is really hot. Cause she also lives in like, you know, just outside London. And oh my God, it was like, I love this thing. I think she bought it last year. So this year I was like, I really need something. Cause I'm not young anymore. Do you know what I mean? I'm 44. Okay. I'm 44 and a half. Um, almost. And I get so freaking hot. I wake up and I feel like I've literally just, just been in a lake for a swim. Do you know what I mean? So since I've bought this unit, it arrived on, when did it arrive? Thursday. So I use it Thursday night. Oh my life. I woke up in the morning. Yes, it was really cold in my room, but I woke up and I was completely dry. <laughs> I felt like I wet myself normally, do you know what I mean? Like, you just, just, just let it all go, <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. I'm all cool and lovely and it's wonderful. And we're getting into today's video. <laughs> So today is actually everything I bought at the Harry Potter shop when I went to these studios. If you haven't seen that, to the Return to Azkaban, then check out the link above because it was a fantastic visit for Janice's 56th birthday, I think. Um, and it was just absolutely wonderful. It was such a beautiful um, event. The candles in the Great Hall, the um, Professor Trelawney's classroom, the Defence Against the Dark Arts classroom, the night bus, it was just fantastic. Janice's birthday cakes, cakes, yes, C-A-K-E-S, yeah, S. So she had multiple birthday cakes. So. I literally had the best time. I was there with Monica, Janice, Carol, and Maria, our Harry Potter sisterhood. So we really did have the best time. And I was actually pretty good in the shop. I wasn't too naughty. So, and we also had discount because we normally do get discount when we go. And I also got things that were on discount. So one of the items I'm gonna show you is only because everything is in this that I have to show you it. So this item I have been after for a while, but when they first came out, they were about 50 pound. I'm sorry, but as much as I loved it, I weren't paying 50 quid for it, do you know what I mean? It was nice, but it wasn't 50 pounds worth. Now they're down to 35 pound and it had 30% off as well. And another 30% off because we get 30% off at the studio tour. So this is the gym bag that they released with the gym, the gym uh, stuff that was out last year. I say last year because it's when I joined the gym <laughs> and I just, I have hardly been back. Um, but shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I can feel hair. Where's my, where's the hair? I can feel hair. And if you see sparkle, clearly isn't enough sparkle because there's like, um, so this is the bag and I've loved this since I saw it, but I wasn't going to pay 50 quid for it. So they're now down to £35 and they're also on sale as well in the Harry Potter studios. But I love all the patterns on this bag. It is gorgeous. It's got, it's because they were very much about Quidditch with the PE stuff. And I absolutely love this bag. So this bag has been my shopping bag. This bag has everything that I bought in it, including something that Adam has been nagging me to show you so he could have it. Okay. So let's get into it. So first of all, what I will show you, let me put my glasses on, is how much I spent. So let's have a look, which one's this? So I went into the middle shop, which is the one by um, the Forbidden Forest, which we all love because it's always full of like sales or it's got the new range in it. In this case, it was the Travel to Hogwarts range. So I obviously everything I bought, I will be showing you. I got £11.70 off and it came to £27.30, which I thought was brilliant. And then in the main shop, the Quidditch uh, bag, let's have a look, see if I can find it. Right, so the bag, I think this is right, the bag was actually down to £10.50 before discount. So that is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Athelie Leisure, black and gold, but this is just black. So I'm not quite sure. So when I spent 
£55.82 and I saved £35.60 in the shop. That is some bloody good going. So let's take me glasses off and let's dive in. So one of the first things I picked up, um, the original one I bought, actually the paint was coming off it. Now, so when you see it in, um, in a video that I did a while ago, I actually bought one of these Derm Strung pens and when I was using it in work, the paint, the grey was actually coming off. So I sent it back to them, free post as well. The Royal Mail came and they picked it up from my house and they took it. They sent me a replacement. So thank you very much, uh, Harry Potter Shop. This is now my third or fourth one. I can't remember, but these pens are beautiful. So this is the Dermstrung pen and I do use them in work. They're really nice. And they write they write so smoothly as well because one of my colleagues used my pen and she was like, oh, I like the way this feels. You know, I was like, no, you're not having it. So this item I was very excited to get. I had heard about it. I wasn't sure if it was a key ring or a pin and you, if you watch the video, you will see that I did pick it up. This was eight pounds. Obviously I did get discount on this, but it is the Bow Batten keychain with the bow baton symbol and the carriage as well so i couldn't wait to get this so this as i said was eight pound can't tell you how much i got off it because it's eight pound on here and then it does a total of eleven pound seventy so it's a couple of pound off so that is absolutely gorgeous that will be going on my keys i just love the little carriage the little carriage is adorable look at it i love it so much it's absolutely stunning. So I was really, really proud of that because you know how much I bloody love Bo Batten and I was dressed up as a Bo Batten for this trip. It is my favourite cosplay as well. So, you know, I loved it and it was the first time being a Bo Batten with dark hair. So that was really, really nice because I hadn't done that before. It was always the blonde. So I was, as far as I know, it was the first time I was being a Bo Batten with blonde hair. And I think the last time I wore that costume was actually on this morning when I was there doing an interview for the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter films. So, um, so that was a long, long time ago. To show you as well, something I wasn't going to show in this video, I was going to do it because I got a, a load of other bits that I want to show you, but that will be for another video. But this was because of the Harry Potter studio, so I will show you it. It was Maria's fault. <laughs> but then saying that, for the Harry Potter Bo Batten, at the Bo Batten um, collection that they released a few months ago, the blonde girl in it who's doing all the Bo Batten costume actually works at the Harry Potter studios and is friends with Maria. And she told Maria about this bag by Flapper. So I had to get it. How stunning is that bag? It is a official Bo Batten Harry Potter bag and inside the, the fabric is just incredible. So the fabric actually has all the Bo Batten crests all over it. The bag is stunning. I wanted to use it as like my actual bag and Harry, to be fair, he said, mum, he said, you'll ruin it. He said, don't, because you'll be really upset. It was not cheap. It's Flapper, and I know Flapper is not a cheap brand. And of course, it was very, very um, original. It was very genuine. It came in its uh, Flapper bag as well, with the whole Warner Brothers thing down the bottom and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter there. So I, I just absolutely love this bag. So I'm going to put it away so I don't ruin it because it does need to go away. So there we are. That's how it arrived. Absolutely stunning bag and I also bought something recently which was a discontinued noble collection Harry Potter item I cannot wait to show you that I'm just waiting for something to arrive it's my the items arrived but there's something else that needs to come with it it hasn't arrived yet so I will be showing you once that arrives very exciting this is the item that Adam is actually very excited about <laughs> I don't quite know why but you know there we go it is the new Harry Potter chocolate frog, but this is white chocolate. So you've got milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and now you've got white chocolate frogs. Absolutely amazing. I love that they do all of the dietary kind of loves, all the chocolates. However, not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, chocolate frogs don't taste as good as they used to. They're not as creamy anymore. You know, that's a good thing.
nothing so it means I'm not gonna want to buy them to stuff my face but they're not as creamy anymore and that's really disappointing considering how amazing chocolate frogs were so chocolate frogs are really nice to buy like you know to get the card and things however the chocolate frog chocolate isn't as creamy so that's very much a bit of a letdown so we're gonna open this because i've said to dad adam he obviously can have it but i need to see what's inside it first so he doesn't care about the chocolate frog part as in the packaging and the card he just wants the chocolate frog so obviously i didn't get harry anything because he's got his braces and i don't want to get anything for me because i feel really guilty so here we have a white chocolate frog i'm hoping it's really creamy i'm half fed or a bit so we got the white chocolate frog. Adam is gonna love it. They are really, really, really big. They are huge and they are so amazing. Oh my God! We've got Mr. Ollivander as the card inside. So the chocolate frog card is Mr. Ollivander. How amazing is that? John Hurt, who is no longer with us, sadly. So many of the Harry Potter cast are no longer with us. So here is the chocolate frog card that I got with the white chocolate frog. So there we are, Adam. You can have that now. He's in the shower, so he'll have to wait until he's finished his shower. <laughs> but I get to keep the box and the chocolate frog card. Right, so the next item. Now, I don't, you know me, I've said this before. I don't do thin socks. <laughs> I do not do thin socks. Like the socks I'm wearing now, right? They're fluffy. It might be the summer. But they're fluffy socks, yeah, they are fluffy socks. I have to have my fluffy socks. But I got the Bo Batten socks and I really, really liked them. They're very, very, very nice. So they're very comfortable, they're very soft, but they're thin. They're, they're not thin, thin, but they're thin. And so I did pick up, because it's 30% off, the Pesky Pixie sock set. So I did get these. These are down from £15, then 30% off and 30% off. So I'm not quite sure how much I actually paid for these. Do I, can I see them? They were, it's £4.50 off and then another £4.50 off. So they were, they're very, very, very nice socks. So I've got that first one and it helps that they're blue as well because you know me, I love my blue. I love my blue and I love my sparkle. So these are the socks i really really love these socks they wash so nice as well they're really really lovely to be fair because the bow batten ones obviously i've worn and they washed beautifully so that was the socks so we also got the new passports so we've got the new harry potter passports which were in celebration of the return to azkaban and you also had to find scabbers so inside is a Marauder's map, which you had to place in certain parts, which you see in my video I did last week. And inside, you'll be able to see where Scabbers is. We didn't do it in the end. We didn't end up doing it all. We ran out of time. But that is the map. How cool is that, that that's actually in? one of these harry potter passports i bloody love it i love that they did this it's so cool so that was the marauders map and obviously this is the fantastic passport that you get stamps for and so on all around the harry potter tour so they are brilliant and then on platform nine and three quarters we also got the chance to make a flying buck beak how cool is that it's so brilliant so we actually had a chance to make a flying buck beak so you can color it in as well you can do whatever you want with it but i got two because she said that the chances are the herd might be lonely <laughs> so i got two which i thought was so brilliant because monica bless her, we do like getting these whenever ever we go monica picked up one of these for me so it's a mina lima acceptance letter envelope that you can get in the Harry Potter studios. One day they will stop making them, but at the minute they still have some and we did manage to grab some, so I love these. I'm looking at this thinking, what the bloody hell is this? I know one item that I bought, but this doesn't feel like that. So I'm actually really confused. So I can't 
remember what I bought. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my god, what do I like? Okay, this could very well be the item that I'm thinking of. Yeah, it could very well be actually. Did I buy two of them? Did I? But there's two of these. Yeah, it's okay. They package them so well. I was thinking that does not look like what I thought I bought. But again, these were on sale, so I did. I couldn't. I couldn't just. I. I couldn't leave them there. I had to pick them up. So am I almost there? Yeah, I'm almost there. Let's 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 get this bit, and then I will show you. So what's this son? Is this the pixie one? Is it? So I got the pixie mug. I think these are so nice, but I really didn't want to pay full price for them because they are the mugs. They are expensive. However, they were all on sale, and I did get this one. I really love the pixie stuff. It is so so nice. And you got little pixies inside the mug as well. This was £12. I can't see how much this was. So this was £12, but I love the kind of shine on the lettering. I love it. I just love the whole pixie thing. I think it's brilliant. I really do love that. And they're such nice mugs. This was the one I remembered, but I forgot I, I bought that one. <laughs> actually you know I feel like these bags literally have been in the house for ages I haven't been able to open them or get into them because once I buy things that's it it stays there until I do an unboxing or an unbagging I don't actually get them out to look at them or show everyone again like look what I got I don't do any of that I literally keep it in there and that's why I forget a lot of the time so let's get to the basics of this I love this tissue paper. I've got so much of it. It's so good. It's all the Daily Profits and stuff. It's brilliant. There's like all the Daily Profit prints and things. Bellatrix is strange and so good. Okay, I'm almost there. God, they pack them so well. Okay. So this is the Mandrake one that came out the same time as the Bobatan, as the Bobatan, as the pe Pesky Pixie one. Absolutely love this. Long bottom speed neglecting his earmuffs. Absolutely fan freaking tastic. Love these. And again, they were on sale. So how could I not get it? I absolutely love them. And I'm not a massive like mug person either, but I just felt like I had to get these because they were on sale and I didn't want to lose them. I love the whole mandrake on the front. It's so cute. It's so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. So my last item, I literally had been listening to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on the Way to London uh, audiobook and they mentioned Kingsley in it and how cool he is and stuff and it's just like I haven't got his wand but I do now! <laughs> so I did get Kingsley Shacklebolt's wand so very very pleased so really chuffed with this it's a really really cool one it's like a squid it's weird, really weird. So this is it. Mr. Kingsley's wand. I'm running out of room in the good side of these wands, you know. But it is absolutely gorgeous. So, and I thought I don't have his wand. And I really, really love Kingsley. I love the way he's portrayed in the book as well. It's so brilliant. I love the actor who played Kingsley in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And then obviously Deathly. Did he play Deathly Hallows? I'm sure he did, didn't he? 
but that is absolutely gorgeous. So I was really shocked that I didn't have Kingsley's wand. It's so cool. Why did you get my, you get my drift there? That looks like some sort of squid head or something. It really does. It's so weird. But it's really kind of, look at the detail on the top. How cool is that? That's brilliant. It's such a wicked wand. But yeah, I got Kingsley's. Yay, I'm so happy I got Kingsley's wand. <laughs> Yay, whoop, whoop. Oh my God, he's so cool, I love him. So that is all of my items from the Harry Potter shop. And obviously, my lovely new sports bag. Still got loads of stuff in it at the bottom from the studio tour, as in little bits. I even got, put my black light in here because I thought I'd need the black light for, um, uh, for the map, but I don't need it for the map now, for the honey think now, for the Marauders map map. But I just, I love this bag. I love this so much. I'm really chuffed that I finally got it. But as I said, that is literally it. Um, what did you think of my buys? Um, I got so much tissue paper. So much of this tissue paper. I love it so much. It's just so much of it. But it is so cool. So that is everything. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. <laughs> Until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very soon. Remember to stay magical as well. Bye-bye. Check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.